Hi, this is Jared from SportsAnnouncing.com, and in this video, we're going to go over the use of hotkeys. Hotkeys is something that, if you've seen me online, you've seen me in person, I swear by hotkeys because they make things so much simpler. You see on this screen right here in front of you the Group A Charge Happy Max family. Down here on single charge, this little blue box with the letter Q inside of it, that is your hotkey indicator box. That tells you that there's a hotkey assigned to that sound and is the letter Q. So if I hit the letter Q, it will play this, the charge sound. And I've got it right there. So if I'm going live, I need something. Boom, I've got the charge right there. Over here, this little letter C with the Q, that means I have to hit the control button before hitting the letter Q. And then it plays the charge. Same thing here with the lowercase c and the a, that is control a will play this sound effect here. Control h will play happy and you know it. Control d will play the slow version of the Mexican hat dance. The letter a will play the Adams family. Now on this one I have over here under hotkeys, I have a variety of hotkeys. The ones I want to look at are right up over in here because these show a couple of different things. You see where it says c a u control alt the letter U will play that song right there. And we just used one of the hotkeys there to fade it out. That is the backslash key that is on your keyboard. This way you can track which songs are applied to which bits. Now those of you that hear me play the organ flourishes after goals in some of my videos I've put on there, that's one, two, and three assigned to the, the keyboard. So announce the goal. There's the ta-da. Announce the assist. There's the second and announce the other assist. And it's all right there. So I've got them right there. That's how I'm able to do things so quickly. A lot of people ask me, how are you able to get that sound effect so quick? How are you able to play the icing bit so quick? How do you get the home run song so quick? It's all set to hotkeys that are on the keyboard. Now, how do you set a hotkey? Well, that's where it gets kind of interesting. I'm going to go over here to Dream On. You're going to right click on it and then click on edit sound button and you see this hotkey assignment keyboard map. This whole area, this bottom half, bottom two thirds of this screen is dedicated to hotkeys. This will tell you what hotkeys you still have available open to you. This one I only have the number eight but if I press the control there's a few others that are open. If I press alt that's control alt together you see there's a wide variety on here that are still available to use. And Alt, I don't have very many of them, but there's enough there. You see that it's very simple. It, it'll tell you what you have available to you. It'll even gray out the buttons that you don't. So I enter under the Alt, E, T, F, S, H, P, L. Those are all up here and assigned to these various functions right here. File, Edit, Play, Control, Setup, Tools, Log, and Help. So you can't assign a hotkey to that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to a new screen that I created here. And you see here, Group F, New Page 1, and Alexander Stan, Mr. Saxo Beat. The way you set your hotkey, right click on the button, edit sound button, and then you can do something that, that I really like. I really like this feature. It used to be a drop down menu. Now you go right to this button. If I want to set it to the letter F, boom, it's the letter F. Come up here, it's right there. If I don't want it in F, I just click Remove Hotkey. And I can go to O. Remove Hotkey, F8. Wherever I want to assign it. it. Makes things so much easier. Now, one of the other features, we'll go back to the other, is up here under Tools. Or, excuse me, as I'm having problems get the, uh, the mouse to say where it is. Go over here to List Hotkeys. And this will tell you what all the hotkeys are. There are some predetermined hotkeys. P is the pause button, spacebar stops. The backslash key also acts as a fade out. You don't need to have this fade out button here activated in order to fade it out. The enter key can also mirror the spacebar so it can stop, it, but that's done in the setup area. And you see down here, I have a lot of hotkeys that are set up. You can sort them by hotkey sequence, so by letter. As we scroll back up, starts out number, letter, and you see here I actually have one that's assigned to two. Um, not exactly sure how I did that, but sometimes it happens. 
have them alphabetical. So P in the space bar already set A, F, 9, and it will go all the way down and control through all the letters. Group page sequence, so you have it by group, and you can see right here 118 hotkeys found. I use a lot of hotkeys. You can also print them out for your use or close this screen. Hotkeys are just makes things so much easier. The way I have mine set up is the the top row is various. So if I hit O, it's the end of the game. I is for icing for this. U is great plays. Y is great plays. T is great plays. As you can see there, I have three of them set for that. R is the goal horn. Uh, Q, W, E, and R on this specific screen are goal horns that were assigned to a youth hockey tournament I was doing. Q is usually a single charge for me. The A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, those are all typically sound effects uh, off the organ for me. So I've got something that I can go to. In the bottom, that varies by sport. I can change it for uh, baseball. Sometimes I'll set songs to those. I'll set foul ball sounds for baseball. Usually A is one sound sound effect for foul ball. S is another. And then D, F, and G are all assigned various sound effects that you get. But I also use the control key. I also use the alt. And I sometimes will even use control and alt together. However you feel best to set them is the best way to go about doing it. If you feel better putting all songs on the on the left nine keys, the QWE, ASD, ZXC, you can do that. However you feel the most comfortable. For me personally, for home runs, it's always been F1. F2 through F2. 12 without F10 on there has been walks for baseball. For hockey, those are goal horns. It, when I first started with hockey, the numbers 1 through 9 and 0 were all penalties. I use those for various crowd prompts now because I don't really need them for those penalties. For baseball, because I have so many walk songs, I've actually started through F2 through F12, and I've started to get down into the 1 through 9 and 0 I also will use some of those as foul ball sounds too. So it's however you want to set it up, but I definitely recommend using hotkeys for baseball. Use it for the quick happenings, walks, which you can't always jump to a screen right away. For baseball, I use one, two, one through nine as the walk-up music. Um, if I if I have a team that is using walk-up music. So the first batter will be number one, second batter will be number two, etc., all the way up through nine. If I see somebody warming up in the bullpen, I'll assign their song. Control is one pitcher. Control zero is one pitcher. Alt zero is another pitcher. If I have a field that has three pitchers, control alt zero. It, it, it can be a wide variety for you. But you have the keys set up the way that you want to set them up, and that's the most important thing with setting up hotkeys in Sports Sounds Pro. Thanks for taking a look at the video. I hope you learned something out of it. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email at dj at sportsannouncing.com. Thanks for taking a look and hope you enjoyed it and have some fun out there.